Hello and welcome to my video series of Mallbio explained in 3 minutes where I explain a concept in Mallbio in just 3 minutes. So if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Today's installment will talk about Hot Start PCR. So Hot Start PCR is just like any other PCR. There would be a denaturation step, primary annealing step and there would be amplification. But the name has the inner meaning, Hot Start. So that has to deal with temperature and there should be a temperature dependent control in this particular PCR reaction. So in the hot start PCR, the TAC polymerase can only function at higher temperature or starts showing its function at higher temperature and this minimizes non-specific amplification at lower temperature. So in this video, we would understand the overall concept behind that. So stay tuned till the end. Hot start PCR mix contains as usual the template DNA, forward reverse primer, DNTP, TAC polymerase, MGCL2 containing buffer, all of these but along with it, it has a chemical X and we need to understand what this chemical X is. So in PCR reaction, our biggest problem is sometimes we get non-specific bands as shown here. So we don't want these non-specific bands but we need ways to overcome it and one of the ways to do a hot start PCR. In normal PCR mix, when we add uh, forward reverse primer, TAC polymerase, DNTP in the master mix, some reaction already starts in that situation. So these primers, if they are not designed optimally, then they can anneal with one another and the polymerase can sit on this primer and start amplifying or start its action. So this leads to primer dimer formation. And as a result, what happens is when we have the real scenario, that means the template is added. In that situation, we don't have enough amount of primer left for the amplification. That means our amplification efficiency is decreased and most likely we are going to get some kind of uh, thinner band or low intensity band in this PCR reaction. In order to overcome this kind of problems, we need to reduce the activity of TACPOL in lower temperatures. And how it is done? Very simple. There could be monoclonal antibodies, which are heat labile, afibodies, small molecules or aptamers, which can interact with the TAC polymerase in lower temperature and can inhibit the TAC polymerase activity under lower temperature. That means even if the TAC polymerase would be present and sitting there, it would not start its amplific its polymerization activity then and there. Now this TAC polymerase can only show its action when the temperature is elevated. When the temperature rises to 95 degrees centigrade, all of these inhibitory effects can get can can get abolished. As a result, this TAC polymerase is active and it can perform its job in terms of amplification. And that ensures non-specific amplification is reduced. So as per summary, we have learned that TAC polymerase can function at higher temperature but remains inactive in lower temperature, especially in case of hot start PCR. And hot start PCR prevents undesired products and increase the amplification efficiency. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can join my Patreon and you can also help me by your donation. If you are Indian visitor, you can... Uh, Use this QR, QR code to support my channel and as usual, like, share and subscribe. You can also take my Unacademy course. Thank you.